Good morning and welcome to our next episode of the Madden Method. It seems like uh, many of our viewers enjoyed seeing the whole lesson. So we think we're going to let you see another one. Today we have Claudia Ballestero, Catherine Strauss, and Emily Gylis being taught by Beezy. They've just started to loosen their horses up and now Beezy's asked them to be in the two-point position. And with that, I'll turn it over to Beezy. Gonna now go back to your posting trot without letting your lower leg slide. That's it. Good, Claudia. And now your sitting trot. Collect the horse a little. Don't pull down, Claudia. Try to keep your rein short enough and your hands a little above the wither. Right, try to sit a little deeper. He's got to carry you. That's it. Good. to keep the horse parallel to the long side of the ring. I don't want you just trotting back to the rail. They have to leg yield over. Good, Emily. And the same thing at this Cavaletti. Keep your 
your hands closer together, Claudia. That's it. They've got to work together to keep the horse in a little channel there. That's it. Good. That's it. A little length, lengthen the draw reins a little, Catherine, while you don't need them here. Good. So when you feel them wanting to slow down, let them. Good. Good, Emily. A little, little more trot there, Claudia. And then let her slow down a little here. She's got to choose to slow down. Good. Shorter rain. Natalia, not your reins if I have to keep telling you that. Good. Go ahead, Catherine. That's what you want, Claudia. That was good. Excellent. And you can go across your diagonal, Claudia, and change direction. <laughs> and a little lengthening a stride across the diagonal. something. Go. There you go. Good, Catherine. And the same exercise this direction, Claudia. Good. and forth. Steady your contact. That's it. Go ahead. Sit a little deeper, Catherine. Arch your lower back like we did when you had your hand on the pummel. Try to, try to copy that feeling you had when your hand was on the pummel. Good, Emily. Good. Better with your position in the sitting trot there, Cal. 
Catherine. I like it. Good. Good. Your reins are short. Excellent. Don't let them slide and get longer. So we're going on a walk break now. We'll cut off so that it's easier to send the video. Okay. Okay. And we're back off our walk break now. Um, nice walk break for the horses to catch their breath. Uh, not too long, just basically enough time for the cameraman, me, to pick up the manure. And we have some more manure now, but that's all right. We're gonna continue with the lesson. Okay, let's do. You're gonna get your canner, left lead canner. And I want to work on different seats. So I want to see you in your two point to the Cavaletti on the outside, then back to the sitting trot with a obviously sitting in the saddle and a half pass back to the rail. Then left lead canter down the center line. You're going to do uh, five strides in your two point, six strides sitting. Okay. And then you'll alternate directions you turn. So right turn after, two point to this Cavaletti, back to your sitting trot, half pass over to the rail. And then right turn down the center line, five and six. So start in the two point, try to lengthen the draw reins, hopefully we don't need them much. If you, if you end up needing them, you can shorten them, but assume that he's going to be okay. Good, a little relaxation over the Cavaletti, then sit, good, that was good position. You've got to lengthen the arm, sit in the saddle, and take the mouth. Make sure you don't take the mouth before you get position. Position, take the mouth. Good, Claudia. Now two points. One, two, three, four, five. Now sit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Close hip angle here in the two point. Then open hip angle in the sitting. Open it, open it. Yes, good. Sit a little deeper. Good, sit, sit. Let's go standing in your stirrups. Emily's the only one that sat. Good, two point, position, take them out. And push them over, good. Make him trot, position. Take the mouth without lowering the hand. You've got to raise the hand, Claudia. Sit. Good. Try to make it a little more connection after the half halt, Emily. Good. Now open the hip angle. Sit. 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 Barely sitting. Good. Standing in your stirrups, that's not sitting. Catherine and Claudia, you're gonna drop your stirrups as you step over the second Cavaletti. And shorter rain, Claudia. Good, Emily. Good, and sit, connection. Yes, good. Good. Drop the stirrups. Sit. Sit. Good. Better. Then 
Then take your steps back up. Do the same thing next time. Good. Sit. Sit. Better. Good. Good with the position there, Catherine. Excellent. Shorter range, Claudia. Come on. I don't want to keep telling you that. I want to. Look up and see your reins too short one time. I would love that. Good. Good. And drop your feet out and sit. 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 Good. Better. Good. Drop your feet out. Relax your thighs. Sit. Show me better position though, Claudia. I want to see more change in your hip angle. Here it's closed. Yes, now it's open. And then even when she stumbles, it's okay. Close the hip angle. Now open it. Sit. Better. Good. Good. Close the hip angle. Now lay back to her tail. Back to her tail. Yes, there. Better. Good. That's the position I want to see. Now do five and seven. Close the hip angle. Now open the hip angle. Open it. Show me the difference. That's it. Good. And sit. Open the hip angle. Good. Close the hip angle. Now open it. Good. You can keep your stirrups next time, Catherine. Open the hip angle. Open it. Yes. Good. <clears throat> now with a little higher hand, Claudia. <clears throat> with the open hip angle, you don't need to put your hands on the withers for balance. Good. Close the hip angle. Allow. Now sit. That was better with the half halt. Good. Good. Now open the hip angle. Lay back. Good. 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 Now lay back to her tail. Back to her tail. You're almost, almost perpendicular. I want to see you behind the vertical in that six, seven strides. Behind the vertical. That's it, Catherine. Good. When I say open the hip angle, I want to see you behind the vertical. Open the hip angle. Behind the vertical. Behind it. That's not really. Behind the vertical. Yes. Good. Good. Behind the vertical. Almost. A little more. Like in the like when you went back to the truck, Catherine. That was excellent. This wasn't excellent. Lay back. Lay back. Better. Better. Behind the vertical. That's what I want in the seven. I want you to exaggerate it for me like that. Exaggerate, Claudia. Yes. Good. Lay back. Yes. Very good. You can walk, Emily. Lay back. Yes. I don't care if you don't need it. I want you to show me it. Good. Good. Exaggerate. More. More. Better. And you can walk, Emily. 
Everybody can walk. Right, exaggerate it. Yes. Another walk break, and we'll be back shortly. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. You're barely at the vertical now when I say that. Exactly. There. Yes. Yes. Here reins again. We're going to do the just the cavalettis the other way a few times. So towards the rushy marsh. You can start since you're going to the left, left lead, and just the same exercise. I want to see it better. Emily's the only one that's done it as well as I'd like. So five and six, five and seven and then change direction at the end. Star of the day, Emily, followed by, not the star of the Select day, Claudia. The rains, Claudia, all right. Followed Already by mediocrity of the day, Catherine. Close the hip angle and open it. Good, you stuck it out. Open the hip angle, lay back. Better. Bend your elbows, raise the hands then, Claudia. Bend your elbows, raise your hands. Yes, Catherine, you can do it a bit. Close the hip angle. Good. Open the hip angle. Good. Really lay back. Lay back. Yes. And raise the hand a little. Good, Catherine. That's it. When he gets heavy, you lift him like that. Very good. Once more. Open your hip angle. Yes. Super. You can let her trot, Emily, and have a little stretch at the trot. Raise the hand. Raise it. Raise it. Yes. That was the end was good, Claudia. Good, Catherine. Excellent. You can let him trot, Catherine, and finish. Claudia, I want to see once more. And when I say raise the hand, So now the riders will just let their horses calmly trot, stretch, relax a little bit. And I just have one comment for all our viewers, and that is, as you can see from this episode, 
things are all about basics, basics, basics. Everything is very basic. One thing everybody has to understand is that basics, while they're very simple to learn, you need to practice, practice, practice. There's no substituting for practicing the basics. So that's, I think, very important for people to understand is just because you know them doesn't mean you can do them. I mean, I know the basics well and I can't ride at all. Beasy practices the basics, the fundamentals constantly. Well, I hope everybody's enjoyed this episode of The Madden Method and stay safe out there and talk to you soon.